I start? Hello and welcome to Anatomy of Marriage, Marriage Mornings. I'm your host, Melanie Studley. And my name is Seth Studley. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. And today is day 67 of the Infinity Marriage Morning Challenge, brought to you by the Ultimate Intimacy app. Go to ultimateintimacyapp.com. No, ultimateintimacy.com and oh, check sorry. out more. Uh, and you can always join us live on Facebook like someone just did because I see a little eye logo. Mm. Uh, we do this every single morning around 7.38. I'm not really sure. Mm. And um, every marriage morning we do four things. We That's do right. a prayer, a past gratitude, a future hope, and a goal. And today's topic is going to be six ways to stop fighting. Mm. And I'm if interested. you're yes, and if you're new here, welcome. We have hundreds of episodes on all sorts of different topics in marriage and family stuff and we are here to help you and to help ourselves not suck so um so <laughs> listen yes. to the show to not suck okay. yes so today is 67 uh and we're gonna do our prayer all yes those i'll go good morning christina uh <laughs> <laughs> can't even do that <laughs> okay so all right thank you jesus creator for your blessings thank you for all the things that you've given us and the opportunities that we have every single day to make things better to help people to serve others and to help ourselves thank you for that super opportunity i pray that this show is good for people and it's good for us and we all learn and rise and improve our relationship together amen amen all right i wanted you to say dear christina <laughs> anyway <laughs> that would be funny. um past gratitude past gratitude i am thankful for the awesome surprise that you did yesterday it was awesome so we live in a small town and when a new restaurant opens up it's kind of a big deal <laughs> and yesterday was the grand opening of this really cool restaurant it's called crockett's public house and it's like super chill place and we were some of the very absolute first people there there was a line at the door and we went there after church and it was awesome it and was really she fun. told me about it and surprised me with it it so, was very, very thank fun. you you're welcome um my past gratitude is that you're just fun and like jazzy and like you make going to the grocery store and looking at sunglasses fun because we did that yesterday for a long time. Right. We just looked at sunglasses at Fred Meyer. And you like let it be fun. I'm just really glad that you're not like, come on, let's go. Because oh, well, people you know, are like that. So People can be chill. Um, my future hope for today. Good morning, Josh. Hello. Um, my hope for today is that my eye appointment goes well. And mm -hmm. that my eye stops hurting. And that, right. um, that the kids have a good day. That things are fun. Mm -hmm. That we parents for the win, right? Yes. Okay, future hope is... I get to go to Seattle downtown and do client work, which I really like. That's a lot of fun. And to get other stuff done as well. Okay. My goal is to get stuff done. I don't think you know what a hope is and a goal. You always mix them up. My goal is to I'm get things on it, done people. today yeah. and have a good day. Yeah. Um, but yes. Okay. Goal. Or that the goal, goal. Just same goal. All stuff, right. So. so six ways to stop fighting. This is something that was sort of crowdsourced in the um, Anatomy of Marriage group. Mm -hmm. We asked what people wanted to talk about on our marriage mornings and that was one of the things that came up. And so I have six topics, six things that help people not fight mm. and they're not in order on the board. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Number one, know your patterns. Speak to that. Yes, that's huge. Understand yourself. Understand how you fight, what triggers your arguments, mm -hmm. what, um, like for the ladies, Track your cycle. That's huge. Mm, I that's would, a big one. We would get in a fight three days before my period, like without fail, mm -hmm. every day for 11 and a half no, years. No, we were just talking about that in the men's group, actually. About... We're talking about periods in the yeah. men's group? Yes, we were. Wow. In fact, it was um, a long conversation, too. So that's great. Um, and so one of the things that helped me the most in terms of us not fighting was mm -hmm. me tracking my cycle on an app. I use Eve. I don't do anything other than the calendar part of it. There's like mm -hmm. lots of features, but I don't mm -hmm. care about those. But it's yeah. free. So know your patterns. Like if if you see yourself headed towards a, a fight. Oh, how did that fight end up last time? Was it like really bad? Were you super mad when you went to bed? Did you sleep on the couch? Stop yourself before you get there. You can even mm -hmm. talk to your partner. I don't want this to end up like last time. Yeah. I'm kind of mad. I'm whatever. Let me cool off. Let me go away. Well, or are you fighting because it's the it's what your family did. Like... Mm. Is it what you want, and are you only doing it because it's what you saw your mom do, or That's you right. saw your dad do? Know that pattern. Know the family of origin pattern. Do something pattern different. There. Okay, yes. number two. Um, Put things into place to help avoid the fight to begin with. Clarifying statements, questions, do you need help, or do you need to just talk? Oh yeah, I like that one a lot. Yes, yeah, so avoid, mm -hmm. fight, avoid fights because you don't need to have fights. They're right. not super helpful, but one of the things is after you know your patterns, you need to have uh, like systems in place, like, oh wait, if we get into a fight, um, or actually to avoid getting into a fight, let's use clarifying statements like, mm -hmm. 
Like if you're upset about work and I come in and I'm like putting you on blast about something. Right. Um, instead of doing that, I should be like, wait, 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 wait. Do you need my help? Do you just need to mm -hmm. talk? Can I? Or I can say, time out. I know you have a lot of things on your list for me. Let me chill for 10 minutes mm -hmm. to whatever. Or just like, that's too much right now. Yeah. Let me, let me. Because usually little tiny things can help avoid sort of tripping into a fight. In the Remember way I talked about an airplane and course correction? Like yes. a very small one degree thing over time gets mm -hmm. you in a way different place. Okay, number yeah. three. Understand that you do not need to fight about this poster. What? Why are you reading my bullet points? I don't know. There is a poster. Like there's a poster on our website that says, you do not need to fight about this. And I made it a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really helpful to understand that there are options. There are always other options mm -hmm. to a fight. Um, think, and, and this is a good sort of like, Thing I thought of today. Mm -hmm. How annoying is it when your children fight with each other and you're like, stop flipping fighting. Right. All you need to do is set the timer and take turns. Mm -hmm. Right? Are we any different? No. <laughs> like, what are we fighting? Is our fighting justified because we're taller <laughs> and have more words? Like, no, I'm it's not. Much not. Taller. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think we need to understand that we don't need to fight about everything. Mm -hmm. Even if we feel really strongly about it, we can bring a really positive and helpful solution. Right. We could bring alternative ideas, ways to avoid the same argument mm -hmm. again. Like, if you're fighting over the same thing all the time, set yourself up to do something different and don't fight about it. Exactly. Like, I don't know. It's annoying because I do it all the time. Anyway, four. Have your options available and in one place. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. So maybe like an anatomy of marriage app would have these options in one spot. Ooh, Just perfect. a thought. Um, but have one like place a place to get your resources. Yeah, right? I was thinking you could put it near, like you can make a list of things that you could do. Clearing structure, go for a walk. Like make a list of the things that help you when you're feeling stressed out or mm -hmm. heated, when you need a timeout, all of those things. And put it next to like something you go to when, you know, like the medicine cabinet. Like mm -hmm. it's a medicine. Right. These things are medicine. Put them near your medicine cabinet or like, tea if you that's a drink tea to calm yeah. down mm -hmm. you know what i mean like mm -hmm. we have medicine that isn't like a pill it's a mindset oh so what if you had a resource bank like a google drive document or an app or whatever well, of course or an app of like okay this is what happens when i feel stressed this is what happens when i feel anxious yes. this is what happens when i feel like i'm not communicating and want something this is what happens when i want to i don't know be intimate with my partner or something like that mm -hmm. so it's like you actually have a folder folders mm -hmm. of categories of stuff. Yeah, That's you have idea. all of the things, all of the all of the things that you know will help you when you're in that moment. Um, so then number I just thought of something Don't funny. say it cuz we're okay, out of okay. time. So then number 5 is you call a timeout. Mm -hmm. And both partners have to agree that timeouts are a good thing, right. that they're valid, that it's not some like one of and the partners will, just being like, "Oh, I don't want to fight timeout." That's right. And it will help them get to a different place, right? Yes. And so when we go back to number 1, knowing yourself, know and understand the pursued distancer dynamic because mm -hmm. there's if i'm heated and want to like kind of light in the melody i'm going to pursue her and stress her out she's going to distance herself and when she's running i'm going to run faster mm -hmm. and vice versa so understand the pursued distance so dynamic raise a white flag of time out mm -hmm. like say wait this is not what we wanted for our marriage this is not what we wanted for this afternoon or mm -hmm. you know four o'clock on a sunday mm. let's not fight let's call a timeout and do something that we both actually think is worth doing and good and then number six is be on the same team have a fight conversation when you're not upset and you heard mm -hmm. what i said have a conversation about how you fight right and talk through what you're going to do uh, when you're in a fight, like, and be on, be on a team, be like a football team. Like, oh, mm. when so and so does that, I'm mm. gonna go here, and we're all gonna run that way. Think about it this way: you need to have a money conversation way before the bills are due. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good. Yeah. Oh, the mortgage. Ah, the you know whatever. The tires blew out on the mm -hmm. car. What are we gonna do? No, you have a conversation six months ahead of that. Yeah. Um, one month ahead of that. This is what we're gonna do mm -hmm. when this happens. And when you're fighting, it is not the time to do those things. But use your That's resources. Right. Take a time out. Anyway, we have to go check out the Ultimate Intimacy app. It's amazing. Go to ultimateintimacy.com. Mm -hmm. We used it last night. It was flipping hilarious. We did. We, we had used such the conversation a great time. part and, and uh, yeah, it was awesome. Wine stop and talking. We gotta. Uh, and so rate and, and review the show. Can you stop? Oh, okay. Rate and review the show. Let us know if you're enjoying it. Um, <laughs> and then share with your friends it's really really helpful hey nick what's up hope you caught some fish hey well okay um all right well thank you so much and have a wonderful day all bye. Right, bye.